Hey guys, um, this is DukeFan789 here. I want to show you some Q-tips with uh, Maya here. I want to show you how to make some um, bottles and wine glasses and jugs. Quite simply, with a little amount of time, saying, saying you only have a short amount of time to make a project. Um, how I'm going to be doing this is with the CV curve tool and using uh, the rotate option under the surfaces. Uh, it's going to be quite quick and easy to do. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is open up uh, one of my scenes. Uh, I've only created two for this small little video, but uh, the first one is the soda bottle. Or Actually, let's go with the wine glass first. Uh, don't save this. Alright, as you can see, it's just a, just a line, nothing important here. Let's go to the front view. Alright, so as you can see, it's uh, lined out, so it's like if you were to look at it without anything really being there, just kind of the, uh, if you were to cut in half and cut in half again into a fourth and look at it, you would see it like this. Now, that's just only part of it. Um, the next part after doing this is going into your surfaces options here, going to surfaces, and go into your options by pressing the little square. Now this may change for you um, depending on what you're doing like uh, say you're looking at it and say you wanted to create like a plate or a rim and you're looking at the rim from this side you could uh, rotate it on the x-axis here and, you know and then uh, click apply and then if you were to go on to here minimize that uh, go into perspective view it would turn it into almost like a plate I mean you could technically use this for like uh, plates too if you wish but uh yeah it really varies on how you need these so let's go ahead and uh, undo that there let me go back into the my front view now in this tool um, we're gonna be rotating on the Y so it spins and creates this glass shape and um, I'm having it as a complete curve range you know um Normally it's set to poly or it's set to NURBS when you first get it, so there's not going to be any extra options. But you want to set it to polygons. Scroll down. Set it to quads. And then general. It'll probably be on standard and triangle. But uh, this is how I get this to work. It's uh, up to you on this. Um, this will also be on per span number of ISO par uh, parameters. Well, params, whatever you want to say. Do this for both of them, and I leave everything else the way it is. Uh, now, if I hit apply, it'll create a nice little wine glass here. Let's go ahead and uh, move that over here. Now, go back to perspective. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. And it created a nice little wine glass for me to use in the future. Now I can uh, always import this to my scenes and whatnot, but that's not in this little tutorial. This is just for wine glasses and bottles and so on. Now, in this wine glass you can do a few other things. I will uh, talk to you about that later, how to make it look like glass, how to maybe put a label on it or something. But as for now, that's basically it for just this wine glass. So if I go ahead and open my soda bottle, You'll say that you'll see there's a, a different shape here. Let's go and go back into front view. Now I had to edit this a bit so it doesn't look exactly how it did when I first started. Um, and then I'll bring me to something else I can say. Sorry for my voice and whatnot. I'm kind of sick, so I'm trying to get over that. Figured I'd work on this while I get better. <laughs> Anyways, if I uh, do the same thing here, you'll notice that you know it's. It's more of a fancier bottle than uh, anything else. And here's something else I would like to show you. Now, you can edit the control vertexes by holding, um, say you don't have anything selected. Select all, there we go. You can right click uh, and select one of the options, you know, object mode. It just selects the whole thing. Hull, it's kind of like the points, the overall points it makes. Um... I like to, oh, whoops, selected everything. I like to go with the control vertexes because that's where it's most useful. But anyways, whatever you edit 
on this side on the uh, line you made we'll edit over here as well so let's go ahead and uh, uh, let's go ahead and zoom in say like uh, the lip on this is just a little too big I don't like it to be that far out you know maybe pull it in just a little bit here there you go and the next maybe just a bit too big same thing with the sides I might want to bring that in just a little bit so select all the vertexes you want including these ones over here let's see shift grab that uh, that one as well and then move it back along this line you know bring it in just a little bit there you go anyways uh this is just real quickly and then uh this is completely hollowed on the inside so technically if you look inside there you can see that it's all hollowed out like an actual bottle now um I don't have enough time or actually yes I do let me go ahead and show you real quickly how to make this look like glass let's select here I'm gonna freeze transform center it there we go and then uh, so I'm gonna right click on this I'm going to assign let's see I'm gonna assign it a favorite material let's give it Hmm. Let's give it a fong. There we go. A fong is uh, it, it's shinier, uh, like glass, and uh, it's not always glass, but you know, uh, it could be. Anyways, uh, it gives it its shine. If I select on it, then go into the options at the very end, you'll see it gave it the name. You can change the color of it. You know, maybe like a say it's just like a, a regular greenish glass bottle let's go ahead and give it a darker green and transparency give it some of that let's go ahead and take a look yeah that's not exactly what I want let's go ahead and take away some of that transparency hmm I mean that's it's pretty much what it'll look like if I wanted to give it a, a label, I would kind of see this is getting a little bit too advanced into what I've learned so far because everything I'm going to be teaching you or making tutorials of is going to be something I've learned in class because I'm going to college for this right now. And I figured I might as well share what I learned. You know, no, it's better to do that than uh, making you all have to go to college just to learn simple things such as this. Now, there are going to be some better tutorials out there. I'm going to try to get some out. Uh, the more I learn, the faster I can get it out there, the better. Um, I will be covering some tools in my other videos. Uh, please feel free to uh, please feel free to subscribe. I'd be more than happy to teach you what I know. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and list them down in the uh, down over at the comments. Sorry, I'm not thinking the most clearly right now. But anyways, yeah, please uh, subscribe, comment, let me know what else you guys want to know, and that'll be it. Have a good one, you guys.